This female-fronted rock band is known for their catchy tunes and everlasting energy. Hi, I'm Rebecca Brayton and welcome to WatchMulture.com. We got the chance to check out Warp Tour and speak with guitarist Blake from Versa Merge about the band's writing process and lyrical inspirations. I'm still alive, for Your first studio full length just came out recently. How would you describe it? Up until this album, we've only had short previews of records where we pick the four or five you know, most strong songs we have. Whereas a full length, it's more of like a full circle, like you need to have certain songs that you know, touch certain spots and like work together to create this one you know, circular piece. We don't want every song to be the same and here's the beginning and it's just a flat line and then here's the end. We want it to have its ups and its downs and then like have character to it. We really try to incorporate this, like a cinematic aspect to the music. I'm, I'm fascinated with film scoring. In a way, I think we almost, you know, put a score to our lyrics in a sense. Our music is very feel-based, so like the lyrics and the, and the feel of the music go hand in hand throughout the writing process. Well, that was basically my next question. I was going to say, how does the band approach the songwriting process? There was a lot of experimenting with this album because we did some co-writes where we actually went in with different people um, and see how it would go. And the guy we ended up writing you know, most of our songs with, um, his name was Dave Bass, and he went on to produce the record after we you know, came out with a few good songs and we were feeling it. But he is the most laid back guy like you'll ever meet. We're definitely the kind of musicians that feed off of comfortability and, and we like things to be really natural and just to flow so right off the bat he made us feel super just like comfortable and got the artistic things out of us. Where do the inspirations for lyrics tend to come from would you say? Sierra writes all the lyrics. She writes a lot of it on tour. Later on, maybe like some something we're playing or something we're messing around with will spark like a memory and be like, oh yeah, I wrote this thing that would go really, really well with the feel of this song. I feel like the lyrics almost are a spark from the music. After that happens, it's just like back and forth, back and forth, you know. I think you guys covered Toxic. Baby, can't you see I'm calling Tell me kind of how you choose a cover, like a song to cover. You might not think so, but Sierra and I are really big Britney, Britney fans. Too high, can't come down. It's in my head spinning round and round. It's not a guilty pleasure at all, because you shouldn't feel guilty about any music you listen to. You know, if it's making you happy or if it's making you feel a certain way, then go, go with it. You know, don't be embarrassed. With the taste of lips, I'm on the right. Your toxic. First of all, her, the people she writes her songs with are geniuses, and um, we really just admire the chord changes and stuff, so that was just right off the bat, just like something we really wanted to do. And we actually had the chance to play it full band, not just acoustic, um, at a show in New Jersey called Hoodwink, which was based on cover sets. So we played 30 minutes of Britney. It's getting late to give you up. I took a sip from my devil's cup. Well, thank you very much. Of course. Thank you for the wonderful interview.